my question for you today is, would you rather be good cop or bad cop? That's a conversation I had with a business owner this week. She definitely likes being good cop. She does not like to have difficult conversations with people. It's just how she's wired. But is it possible to be a business owner without being bad cop sometimes? I mean, is the only alternative to let people walk all over you? No way. What this leader did, and what I highly recommend all leaders do, is she hired somebody who is strong in an area where she's not strong. She has a couple of senior leaders on her team who are willing to have hard conversations. I asked one about it, and she said, oh, that's no problem. I sometimes find myself wondering, why are you crying? I wasn't that tough on you. <laughs> it's just part of the way they're wired. They don't mind enforcing rules or even dealing with confrontation or conflict when needed. So how are you wired? How about the leaders on your team? Want to learn more about yourself and about them? Having a balanced team can really make things work. This business owner depends on her leaders to be the bad cop, and they depend on her to help them demonstrate mercy when appropriate. I can't tell you how much I love sharing insights from the Maxwell Disk assessments. They provide a practical, action-oriented way uh, for you to understand yourself, understand others, and improve collaboration and improve teamwork. I want you to know I believe in you and I believe in what you can do when you've got the right team in place. Take some action today. If you want to learn more about DISC, you can go to brighthillgroup.com slash DISC. That's brighthillgroup.com slash D-I-S-C. See you soon.